everybody, it's Gordon. Welcome back to the shop. I appreciate you following along. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something very specific in regards to uh, tote repair, and that is how to open up that counter bore. And I'm going to show you one technique that I use, and this is one of a couple different things. So I'm going to talk about just one thing today and keep this really short, and that is how to restore uh, this counter bore. And what I'm talking about is something like this. Here's an unintentional cross section of what that tote looks like. And this would be considered the larger diameter up top as a counter bore. Then there's a through hole that goes all the way through. So when we repair something like this, um, it's not uncommon to cover part of that back up. And uh, then we have to open it back up. So it's easier actually to drill a counter bore in a through hole in a piece of wood that has no voids in it than it is to try and restore with a drill bit and a drill press uh, an existing counter bore that's half covered up. So you risk chip out and, and wobble and all kinds of fun stuff and fixturing and location. So what I do often is I just use a simple Dremel with a little burr on it. And if I can get a video there, there's a focus point. So I just use a little straight um, you know, carving tool on the end of a Dremel. And I'll go in because the existing bore on this one, horn's been replaced. This hole was, the counter bore was partly covered up. And then I just go in with my hands ever so gently and just follow that existing counter bore. So if you just sneak up on it, take your time and go back in, um, you can open it back up. So here's the little number one that just got restored, right? So he's got a new horn and look at what I did. I covered it right up. Okay, so if I can get you to focus here, you can see what's going on. There's the the um, existing counter bore and I'm gonna open it up with this Dremel. I'm just gonna take my time. I'll speed the video up so you can see how quick this goes. But um, the point in this is, you know, rather than fixture this in a drill press and try and line up the counter bore and worry about the depth and all these things, you're really just gonna tear that up. So I just use a little finesse, go in there by hand and, uh, and clean this thing up and then we'll put our final uh, touches on this guy and ship it. So there it is. Um, really, there's nothing more to it. Let's get to the video.
Okay, so I think that's good. And uh, we've got a nice fit. It's a little, just a tiny bit snug. Okay, so I think we're good. It's got a nice fit. It's It drops in and uh, it starts to get a little bit snug toward the end, which is something that I'm good with. Again, maybe there's gonna be some finer uh, work that's gonna be needed once we get down there to the bore. But if you notice, as I was doing this, I stayed from three o'clock, as I'm looking at it, from three o'clock all the way over to nine o'clock, which is where we did the repair. And I didn't touch the top of the bore at all. And so that's a good reference that serves as, uh, you know, my original, my original feature. So when this drops in there, I know that's where I want to be. I don't want it so tight that I jam it in there. You saw me do that in the video a couple times. And that's just getting to that point where you got a nice diameter. And then last as a final touch, I went in and just knocked this sharp off because again, you don't want a super crispy edge right there. That's going to flake, you know, just a little bit of, uh, randomness is actually in my book is preferred because you'll see the original chips here there's some little marks and we're just gonna kind of put something in there to to uh, simulate that and then of course touch it off with some steel wool and wax and uh, we are ready to ship so hopefully this one will find its way um, to its new plane and uh, it's got a sweet little knob to match and there you go thanks for watching